Hi, I'm Thea Scarato, and I don't believe that cell towers belong on school grounds. Um, I wanted to make sure you had this information. Dr. Martha Herbert is a Harvard doctor. She's an autism and neurodevelopmental disorder researcher, and she did a review of the research on neurological impacts from radiofrequency radiation that the cell towers emit. And I have the letter for you as well. She wrote this to the LA School Board. There are thousands of papers that have accumulated that document adverse health and neurological effects of RF. RF from Wi-Fi and cell towers can exert a disorganizing effect on the ability to learn and remember, and can also be destabilizing to immune and metabolic function. Thus, it will make it harder for some children to learn, particularly those having trouble in the first place. Now, the FCC is reassessing our safety standards, which are 18 years old. And there are hundreds of submissions. I urge you to look at them. Um, one is the American Academy of Pediatrics, who states, children are not little adults and are disproportionately affected by all environmental exposures, including cell phone radiation. Current FCC standards do not account for the unique vulnerabilities specific to pregnant women and children. It is essential that any new standard be based on protecting the youngest to ensure they're safeguarded throughout their lifetimes. Um, children absorb up to 10 times the radiation in their brains, and the, the AAP also cites this in a 2012 letter. You can read it in the World Health Report as well. They have more stem cells, which are shown to be more uh, activated, impacted by very, very low levels of this radiation. The head of OBGYN at Yale, Dr. Hugh Taylor, you can go online and go to the Baby Safe Project. He is recommending that pregnant women reduce their exposure to this radiation because his own research showed that mice had increased hyperactivity and memory issues from this radiation. And as an example, there, was, there are many studies, but there was a recently published study called Effects of Mobile Phone Radiation on Structure and Functions of the Rat Brain in Neurological Research. And it said, thus our findings indicate extensive neurodegeneration on exposure to radio waves. This extensive neuronal damage results in alterations in behavior related to memory and learning. Dr. Herbert states in her letter, it will be easier for you to make a healthier decision now than to undo a misguided decision later. And I think that schools should be in the business of learning in education, and I'm hearing that there's a lot of issues to attend to, uh, as are, and um, I don't think that a cell tower, putting cell towers on schools is the business that schools should be in. So I hope that you'll review this information, and I have uh, emailed you as well a list of research, and I actually um, urge you to please take a look at it and go to the BabySafe website to learn more. Thank you. Oh, and I brought all of this for each. I brought the letters. I forgot thank to you. hand them out. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you.